everybody, welcome back treasure hunters. We're here at our 1600s property. That little white one there, that is the landowner's house. And all this area here um, hasn't been developed or touched for a good 900, 800 years. Um, this site is goes all the way back to about 1300, something like that. All this area, all the way down there, was the site of uh, a huge fair. Um, I don't know if it came all the way up this bit, but uh, the the kind of records show that it goes all the way to what is now the bypass, which is about another couple of hundred meters that way. So hopefully this should be kind of like the middle of the field, which would be awesome. Um, it's so much potential this site, and there's like a couple of other fields next to it, which are about the same size, so. You know, this 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 possibility all over the place. So, yeah, we're going to get into this field, get on with it. I've got about three or four hours, so I've got a decent amount of time um, to have a, a, a pick on this field. But I mean, the weather is awesome, awesome. I, it's it's beautiful. Like after the last couple of days where it's been lashing it down every single day, it's so nice to be able to get out in some nice weather. And all the sheep have gone from the field, which makes my life a little bit easier. But yeah, I'm going to stop waffling, and yeah, I'll see you at the first hole. Okay, so here's the first bit. Uh, I haven't kind of pulled it out yet. It looks, I don't know if you can see it there, it looks quite ornamental. Um, ah, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was like a little hook. I could just see it was that poking out the top. Nah, but it's just, just looks like a bit of lead. Oh well, that's, uh, it does look like lead. It's very heavy, so it must be lead. But yeah, nothing exciting, unfortunately. Just a bit of lead. Oh well, next hole. Okay, we have another signal. Let's have a check. See if it's in here. It's not. Here we go. It's down in the hole. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Is that it? It is. Ooh, it looks like a coin. It looks like a very small coin. Is it a coin? Or is it some lead? It's not lead because it's got like a patina to it. Hmm, let me go and have a quick clean up of this little beauty. So, here we go. It just looks like a piece of metal. Um, it looks like a coin, it obviously looks like a coin, apart from that tiny little bit on the top. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of turned out to be nothing. Uh, there's no markings on it that I know of. Um, it could have been a coin, but uh, not anymore. Oh well, next hole. Okay, so we've got another one here. You can probably just hear the uh, AT Max chatter in LA to itself in the background. Uh, it's here. I don't know what the hell it is. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's some kind of fixture fitting. It looks like the ones that you screw into the ground for uh, poles. But definitely isn't because there's no screws or anything on it no holes Let's see if there's any markings on it I don't think there is looks pretty smooth yeah nothing on it it's definitely an interesting one for me that I have no idea what it is <laughs> maybe you guys do but yeah it's a interesting find there's a couple more around this area pinging up like mad so it came up with like 86 which is quite a surprise that's a high number but I'm guessing it's got high conductivity so oh well we'll see what the rest of them are so I'm having a very kind of unproductive uh, hour <laughs> so far it has been a bit weird uh, we've found absolutely nothing apart from a few kind of uh, uh, dropper kind of things uh, you know, to dispense cream out of and stuff. And then we just found this. So, it looks... Let me just give it a quick wipe, because there's nothing really on it, I don't think. It looks like a solid bit of lead. And it doesn't seem to have any markings on it. Give it a wipe on the old pants. But yeah, there's, it's just a solid bit of lead. Pretty decent size, like. Uh, but yeah, it was fair down as well. It was a good what, three quarters of a foot? Yeah, good eight inches or something like that. 
So yeah, it's uh, I'm going to give it a proper clean back at home because it could have something on it, but it doesn't look like it. It's pretty pretty uh, flat, but yeah, it's a fair sized bit of lead. Now, let's have a look at that one. You can see it down there. That's probably the most interesting thing I've found today. It's got a tiny bit which has been broken off. I don't know if it was me or uh, it was already in the ground like that. But hey, look at that. It's very light. It's just kind of quite tinny. Very thin as well. Let's see if I can give it a tiny bit of a clean up. Yeah, I don't think it's got any writing on it. Let me just have a quick look myself. It does. It does have some writing just down there. Um, but I can't really see any and I've forgotten my water. So I cannot give it a clean in the field as much as I want to. So probably we'll get that back uh, home and have a quick look at it. But yeah, it's very, very thin. It feels like tin. Very, very, very thin. But um, yeah, well, we'll see when we get home. So here we go again. Another... It says there's something down there. This garret pinpoint is a bit weird. I'm not... It says there's something down there. Metal detector says there's nothing. But anyway, yeah, about eight inches down. And look what we found. It looks like the uh, end of a teaspoon or a spoon or a fork of some sort. But there is markings on it. And it does say, if I can cut that the right way, just there. I don't know if you can see that. It says made in Germany. Pretty awesome. Made in Germany. Now, eight inches down, that's some depth for uh, one of those pieces to be. So, hopefully we'll be able to give it a bit of a clean. I don't think it's silver the way it's rusted. But, yeah, made in Germany. So, hopefully we'll be able to give it a tiny bit more of a clean up back at home. But, yeah, eight inch down, bit of a spoon of some sort or fork, bit of cutlery, something like that. Pretty impressive. Well, I think I found the first proper coin. It looks like a coin anyway. It's got a bit of a clod in the back of it. Uh, ooh. Let me see if I can get it into the sun so you can actually see what the hell it is. I cannot see. It looks quite... Let me just give it a quick wipe. Give it a quick wipe. I don't know if I can see anything on there. No. Another coin of... I don't know if it is a coin or nothing. Let's have a quick check. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really see anything on it. Maybe I'll be able to see some when I get back home, but I don't think so. Coins are not coming up very nicely out of this field, unfortunately. But we'll carry on and see what else we get. Well, I got my first ring, but it's not the kind of ring I was after, really. Uh, sorry if you can hear a bit of wind. The wind is picking up a wee bit. It's there. There we go. It looks like a solid bit of ring. Uh, I have no idea what that would be for. I think there was a tiny, tiny little bit of leather maybe on the top of there. But yeah, nothing uh, nothing super exciting. It's got a bit of age to it. It's down like a good three or four inches. Yeah, it's very light as well. But mm, nothing, nothing on it. So I can't really give you any details but yeah a ring nonetheless so we've got another little bit of ring this time it has a little fastener attached to it there we go pretty good actually that's in pretty good condition awesome stuff like I say I can't really identify where or when but, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely got some age to it. Little tiny ring clasp for something. What it was, I have no idea. So we've got a pretty decent target. I think it, oh no, I thought it was in there, but it's not. Uh, mid kind of 60s. Let's oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's a coin. Is it a coin or is it a button? You don't get many buttons around here. So it must be a coin. Let's see if we can get it in the light so we can see. Ooh. Uh, I think it's a coin of nothingness again. I'm gonna give it a tiny clean. Yeah, nothing again. It's so annoying. This could be anything, and these 
chop it fields just eat everything up it's uh yeah it's really bad oh well there's no markings whatsoever on that so what a shame what a shame i thought we had something really good there actually looking from that it looks like a bee but i don't think it is i think that's just the way it's rusted uh yeah coin of nothingness again well another good signal actually it was like 85 86 uh <laughs> it's a bit of wire uh with a connector on that is what it was that's a hefty connector that with four four screws to connect it up someone definitely did not want that coming loose Yep, I'm not having a terribly large amount of luck on this field. I've kind of probably, that's where we started over there. Uh, we're heading over towards that kind of second trough over there. Just that one. So I'd probably say, probably about half, I'd say. Probably half of the field. Uh, about two hours, two and a half hours in. So hopefully we should get down towards the farmhouse down that way uh, that should be where most of the stuff is, if anything but yeah it's uh it's not going so well and it's uh it's clouding over a bit as well so hopefully we won't get any rain but let's see anyway bit of a connector well here's another one i don't know if you can just see it there it's just hiding in the muck it's another coin definitely another coin looks like an old penny size of that let's give it a quick wipe Gently, don't want to cause any damage if it isn't. I think that's Britannia on there. Yes, it definitely is. Let's see if I can get a tiny bit of a date off there. Uh, I don't think I can. I might be able to when I get uh, get back home, but yeah, it looks pretty much goosed, I think. Mm. Well, it's 90. Oh, there we go. Oh, bloody hell. There we go. I can just see the date on there. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's 1905. That's a fairly old coin, if it is. Let's have a quick look to my face and see. 190. It is. It's 1905. 1905. You can just see it's starting to rain very slightly. So yeah, nearly a 115 year old coin there. Okay, so we've got another one, another coin. I can just see it there in the clod. Uh, I'm assuming it's a coin. It looks very coin-like, straight on the edge there. Let's give it a bit of a open and see what we've got. Hopefully it's a coin of somethingness. <laughs> Let's get rid of that nice imprint there. Eee, dearie me. It looks like nothing again. Damn, these keep coming up really badly. Let's see. No. There's plenty of them. Plenty of them on this field, but they're all pretty much corroded, which is such a shame. Might be able to get some up for it. Back at the... Uh, it looks like there's a big cross in the middle of there. Uh, when we clean it up later, but... Yeah, at the moment, a coin of nothingness. Well, sorry about the uh, the wind if you're getting it, but we think we've got our first bit of jewellery here. Nice. Uh, should be wearing my gloves. I really, really should, because look at that beauty. That is stupidly sharp. That is actually really, really sharp. For something that's been in the ground, that is extremely pin sharp. Because it's a pin, obviously. Right, let me give it a clean and see what it is. I don't think it's anything special. Let me give me 30 seconds and just have a quick look. So, yeah, it's definitely a pin, brooch of some sort. Uh, I don't want to pick at it too much in the field. Um, it feels like glass. So, I want to just be very careful with it. Those bits of metal around there are really, really fragile. And if I start pinning it, <laughs> pinning it bloody hell, uh, bending it or moving it or anything like that, then it's going to end up snapping and I really, really don't want that. So we'll get that back home and uh, yeah, we'll have a look at it properly in the roundup. So it's now day two. 
It might not seem like it, but it, it really is. It really is. Uh, I did about three and a half hours on the field. Uh, some good stuff. Uh, I decided instead of just doing two videos um, and kind of spreading it out a bit, I'll just condense it all into one video. So um, we're carrying on on the second day on the same field as yesterday. Um, there's about a third of the field, maybe about a quarter of the field left to go. Um, there actually is a path that leads next to the field, um, which is the landowners as well. And it's a part of the Dales Way. So that's been there for quite a while, that path and everything. So um, that's the main kind of thoroughfare through that area. So that should be quite cool to check as well. It's not it's not huge. It's about 10 metres long. So uh, that's uh, another option for at the end of the day. So, yeah, we'll get back onto the field. Uh, yeah, and carry on seeing what we've got. Okay, so first thing in the hall today is a buckle. It's a pretty hefty duty buckle, actually. Uh, it could be from a horse or something like that, maybe. It's maybe a... Uh, seems a little bit too much to uh, be for a showman, but you never know. So yeah, first thing today is a, a lovely buckle. So here's another weird one. Look at this. So there's a little clasp. It's two parts of this one. A little clasp with it, and then there's this. It looks like a bit of a buckle, but it's it's weird. It's got two wiggly legs, a little tonguey bit in the middle, and that on the top, and then a little hoop. Yeah, it's a strange one. Not quite sure what it is at all. If you have any ideas let me know in the comments below but it's uh yeah it's a definitely a big multi-parter yeah if you know what know what it is sorry about the wind if you know what it is yeah just let me know in the comments so this is another weird one look at this it's like a bit of lead with like a wire through it I like to hang as a weight of something it's definitely lead um around a bit of metal but yeah, it's a strange one. I thought it was a thimble when it started to come out. No, it's solid, solid lead. Any ideas? Drop it in the comments. Well, this is the first. I've never had one of these before. Awesome signal, obviously, because look at it. It's a massive chunk of metal. Not a massive chunk of iron, but look. Can you guess what it is yet? It is... An old axe head. <laughs> it's well and truly rusted. But yeah, an old axe head. That's got some bloody weight to it, that. I'm not putting that in the uh, uh, carry pack. I'm going to go straight back to the bag for that one. Yeah, that's where the shaft went in there. Old axe head. wonder if that'll file down to a <laughs> an old uh, workable piece of metal. I doubt it. But yeah, huge chunk of iron. Axe head. Well, didn't get much on this trip out. Um, not from the last bit of the field anyway. Not that thimbly kind of bit of lead. Um, the weight, I think it was. A few other little bits and bobs. Loads of iron. There's tons and tons of big bits of iron in this field. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, we're going to come off the field now and go back down onto that little trek um, for the Dales Way. It's only about 10 metres long, so it'll only take me 10, 15 minutes to do it. But yeah, hopefully we're going to find something on there um, to end off the day with a, a high. But you never know. You never know. So let's get on with it. Let's go down, have a look and see what we can find. Uh, so I thought we had something exciting there. Uh, ring shaped, but it's just a bit of metal pipe, unfortunately. Ah, had a little bit of a worry there. I thought, ooh, it's ring shaped. No, a bit of copper pipe. Oh, well, that's the path that we're doing. Basically just goes to the edge, like the corner, just down there. So maybe a bit more than 10 metres. So, I'll, yeah, we'll give it a go and see what happens. Another one. Another weird one. It's a really, really good signal. Some of this stuff is like literally just like a centimetre below the ground. Yeah, it looks like a fitting for maybe a light of some sort. It's a screw-in fitting. So I'm guessing it is. Like, maybe the light will come out there, screw in. That's what I'm guessing. Sorry if it's a little bit windy, but 
yeah, I'm kind of in like a tunnel situation here, so I can't really do much about it, but yeah, we'll carry on. Okay, back at home. We had a slightly successful hunt. It wasn't anything super special. Uh, it definitely wasn't anything super special, which is a bit of a shame because I was kind of holding out uh, a lot of hope for that property. But it kind of didn't show, unfortunately. Uh, we've got a few things. We've got that axe head. That was quite cool. That's a hell of a weight on it as well. Uh, that lead weight, the one with the little bar through it, that's quite cool. Um, if anyone knows what it is, please let me know. That would be quite cool. Uh, lots of coins of nothingness. That 1905 penny. And then we got this little thing. Now, that little thing is Hinkson's son. That's what it says, of Birmingham. Now, after a bit of Googling, they were oil lamp manufacturers, basically, back in the 1850s. So it's got some hell of an age to it. So yeah, 1850s, Hinks and Son, they were oil lamp manufacturers in Birmingham, and they patented the kind of controllable lamp. So you'd have a little knob on the side, which you'd twist, and it'd kind of lower the, uh, the, the oil lamp brightness as such. So yeah, that was quite cool. So it could be all the way back to the 1850s, which is pretty, pretty sweet if it is. Uh, it might be a little bit newer. It depends on what model it is and such forth. Um, basically, the bit we've got is like the top collar where the wick goes through. And that's that's basically what it was. So yeah, that was that was really, really good. Um, field itself, nothing special. It had loads of iron on. Like tons and tons of iron. I was really surprised by how much iron. It kind of makes me think that they'd... like. I mean... They built the railway next to it. That's, you know, that's a, a bad sign straight away. So it must have been loads of stuff from the railway and just kind of general day-to-day -day workings. Um, it's weird because like the, the, the house is lower than the field, which kind of makes me think they've kind of filled it in maybe. I don't know. Um, all the other fields, it's kind of like a mound. So it kind of fades down to the sides and then down to the house. So it's like a big blob. So I don't know if it is being this way. They just chucked all the waste crap from the, the railway and building the roads. And, you know, there's loads of stuff around there that's um, being done up. So it could have been just a dumping ground. That's maybe why I didn't get anything lower. Um, but you never know. I, d I don't know. I don't know. So uh, I can only guess on that. Uh, the path next to his house was an absolute bloody useless point to it. It really was. These nice, like, tufts of grass either side and the one in the middle, you know, where cars go down. It's normal, like, kind of side road thing. Uh, but after about a quarter of an inch, it was just solid rock. Rock and compacted stones and stuff and tiny bits of metal in there. And it's just rubbish. It really was. Um, so I'm holding that for the, the kind of other bits of Dale's Way because they're straight in the middle of fields, which is which is good. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's one for another day. Yeah, hey T Max, uh, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to it. Um, it chatters quite a bit. Um, I'm getting used to it though. With that uh, kind of grind balancing correctly eliminates a bit of that. Um, there was like right next to the side of the field. There was power cables, so, you know, overhead. So I can't really argue with it for that. It's, you know, it's not his best environment to be working in. Uh, we changed the frequencies, we ground balanced it correctly, you know, we dropped the sensitivity, all that kind of stuff. So it was weird because, like, at the end of, like, swings, you'd get, like, a ping or a chatter or something like that. Like, they like, it was kind of reaching the end and, like, the G-Force was moving the cable or something like that that was chattering. So I taped it all down, checked it, did stuff, didn't make it any difference um checked over the coil the coil's fine uh, i know the at maxes have had a bit of problem with stuff like that um and if i continue to get it i might just have a word with garrett and see if they'll send me out a new coil because i know they do that so yeah we'll see how it goes but we're picking up targets and we're picking up targets like like four five six even eight and nine inches down and that small tiny bit of metal which was just you know rubbish in the end um that was like down nine inches. So, I mean, it's picking up decent targets that low down. So I can't really complain at that. Yeah, um, that's about it, really. I mean, we've got some more permissions coming up. I've got that little house that he's got um, in the middle of nowhere. That's like 200 years derelict. Um, I want to get like a little sniper coil for that because I don't want to go in there with a big coil because it's going to be just useless. Um, 
We've got the local park as well. I've got permission to do one there. That'd be quite cool. That's used for races and meets and loads. There's tons of stuff on there. Um, there will be, um, but there'll be a lot of rubbish as well. So I don't know if I just wait to get a little bit of a coil. I might, I might just go over it with this coil, see what happens. Um, and if I get loads and loads of iron problems and things, then I'll drop down to a smaller coil. But we'll see. And we've got all our big permissions up at the top of Staveley. We've got, we've done, we've got loads to do. Anyway, I'm yabbering on like a bloody madman. You can't be asked listening to all this rubbish. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, we're getting there with subscribers. It's really, really good. And I'm loving your comments. Any comments in the bottle of videos are always, always welcome. I love to reply to your comments and hearing your kind of feedback and everything. So yeah, very, very, thank you very much for that. It's, 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 it's nice to talk to you guys. It really is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And yeah, happy treasure hunting. <laughs>